I hate making these videos every freaking time. Mass shootings happen under Obama like people change their underwear. It's not just common. It's insanely common. And it's singular to him as a president. Every time the system has an agenda, we're seeing that become a huge talking point. People stop taking their shots. All of a sudden, wow, Disneyland has an outbreak of measles and people lose their minds more than they did over Ebola. Obama wants to limit guns and, and enact gun control, Congress be damned. Well, now all of a sudden we just have mass shootings all the time as if it's always been this way. And people are acting like it's always been this way. And it hasn't always been this way. That's the thing people forget. We have short-term memories and long-term memory problems. It has not always been this way. Something else is going on here. I mean, already Obama's calling for gun reforms today in the wake of this San Bernardino shooting. And already, if you look at the details of it, it looks suspicious. It does. I'm sorry. They're not going to be able to say this is some lone wolf. This was three white males, reportedly, in full military gear who showed up to a place filled with disabled people with a getaway car. That's not your average crazy person who picks up a gun and just starts randomly killing people. And already, you have all these people begging to have their guns taken away. Take away guns, take away guns. Please, please, please limit my Second Amendment right because of a mass shooting. It's just like these Mizzou idiots walking around begging to have their First Amendment rights stolen and everyone else's too. So that's the new thing now. It's manipulating society because... Obviously, they're preying on the fact that people have short memories to beg to have their rights taken away. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing it all the time. Please take away my right, whether or not I want to give my kid a vaccination. Please take away my right, whether or not I want to have free speech. Please take away my right to keep and bear arms. I mean, that's been the agenda. The last few, all these major events that are happening, they're all politicized for ultimately for people to have their rights taken away and people begging for it. That's what's going on. But who's asking questions like, why is it that five out of the 12 deadliest gun massacres in the entire nation's history took place not just under Obama as a president, but just under his first term as president? That's almost half. Almost half of the deadliest gun massacres in America happened under just Obama's first term. Obama, our gun control president. Gee, what are the odds? And if you look at the list of mass shootings that have happened under Obama, this only goes to Oregon, doesn't count what's going on today or recently here. You, you've got some of the most highly suspicious events. You got everything from psyops to false flags to what are probably outright hoaxes on this list. You've got two Fort Hood shootings. You've got Gabby Gifford's shooting, which happened right after the congressional inquiry into Fast and Furious. You've got the Aurora movie theater shooting, which happened just days after Obama's birth certificate fakery scandal went not just national, but international. You've got the Sikh Tipple shooting. You've got Sandy Hook, which was used to advance 23 new gun control executive orders. You've got the Navy Yard shooting, which came just after Obama's red line on Syria blew up in his face and everyone was protesting, which is one of the ones where the guy claimed that the government was targeting him with electromagnetic frequency weapons, which also happens quite a bit in this country, just by the way. Another Fort Hood shooting, which happened during an Obamacare scandal. Charleston shooting, Chattanooga shooting, the Oregon shooting. You have all these shootings all going on under Obama. And people forget and they go, well... I guess that's just how it is in this country. I mean, ever since Columbine, we just have sh mass shootings, just all the time mass shootings. Well, actually, we don't at all. This was compiled by my mother because she was actually just curious about this. And she's really into facts and figures. I love my mom. This is based on the definition of the FBI of four or more deaths considered a mass murder. But this is going back to Reagan. Just take a look at this for a second. All right. So in Reagan... You had 11 mass shootings, five of which had eight or more deaths. Under Bush Sr., you had 12 mass shootings, three of which had eight or more deaths. Under Clinton, it jumped way up, 23 mass shootings, and four incidents that had eight or more deaths. Now remember, Clinton was also doing a lot with assault weapons bans and things like that. All of a sudden, you have a huge jump in mass shootings. George W. Bush, you have 20 mass shootings in eight years. So it went down a little bit, and that's five incidents with eight or more deaths. Now let's check out Obama. See this list? Look at this. 
you have 162 mass shootings and we're not even all the way through his second term yet. Look at this. Each one of these names is a mass shooting. The ones in bold, those are where there were eight or more deaths. 18 incidents with eight or more deaths. And she compiled this from Mother Jones data because they're doing their own anti-gun compiling of data to try and show just mass shootings are just rampant in this country all the time. Actually, mass shootings in this country have gone way up since Obama became president. Obama, our gun control president, who's trying to limit the Second Amendment. Think about that. Think about that for a minute. You cannot say the man doesn't have an agenda. And oh, by the way, wow, while he's having that agenda, it just so happens that more mass shootings are happening under him as president than any other president in American history, the entire history of the nation. What is really going on here? Okay. It's not the proliferation of guns because there's more things limiting guns today than ever. I mean, we probably have more gun laws today than ever. I don't even know. There's thousands of them. I don't even think it's the proliferation of SSRIs because those were approved under George Bush Sr. Prozac came out in the late 80s. Something else is going on here. At least 14 people are dead tonight, 17 wounded. This is the deadliest mass shooting in the United States since the Sandy Hook school shooting in Connecticut.